Hey ihr Lieben, how is it going? It's yes, here, yeshuabeuten.com I'm so sorry for the super duper duper late upload uh, It's still Monday so you're going to see it in a few minutes or hours whenever I upload this video I want to just check in real quick with you guys and encourage you with what God showed me yesterday, Sunday We had powerful services and God really kind of like really spoke to us or to me at least uh, one of the sermons that we listened to yesterday was about eternity having a eternal perspective and everything what we do what really challenged me and what really spoke to me that I want to share with you is one day we as Christians we will get our crowns for how how we walked our Christian life for the things that we did for Jesus and what really challenged me was that we're not getting a crown for running a race, being a Christian, but for how and what we did for Jesus. Kind of like in other words, bring fruit, be fruitful, and not just a lazy Christian. Actually, in fact, one of the sentences that really stuck with me, that I actually also wrote down, was don't be so blessed that you get fat and sleepy so that you lose your burning for eternity, your eternal burning, your your eternal perspective, being driven by eternity. Don't be so blessed that you get fat and lazy and sleepy. And then I was like, boom, like that's it, you know. See, as Christians, we can do so many activities and things and stuff for the for the Lord, but in the end, you know, as Paul says in 1 Corinthians 3. I believe it's uh, verses 10 to 13 or so where he talks about the foundation which is Jesus Christ and then we have to see how we build upon it either it's uh, hay, straw, or wood, or diamonds, gold, silver, silver. <laughs> and it will be proven by the fire in the end God will have us go through fire and in the end it will be proven the quality, that's what I liked the Bible actually talks about quality the quality of what we did for Jesus will be proven by God's fire. See, it's not about quantity. God does not call you to do a lot for Him. God calls you to bring fruit. And He wants quality fruit. I was thinking about this, especially in a YouTube content context. Quality versus quantity. And Jesus clearly says that, hey, it's about the quality, the quality of your works, the, the kind of work that you do will be proven. Will it be that your house that you build upon the foundation, which is Jesus, everything that you do after your salvation, will it be silver, gold, precious stones, or will it be hay, straw, and wood and stuff that can burn? Is it really like works for the Lord? where that brings fruit, where people are being saved, healed, delivered, and restored? Or is it just carnal stuff where maybe God has not even called you for things that you do that God has not called you for? He gave a very interesting, very interesting example, especially here in the States. We had a lot of fires, wildfires, California, for example, where a lot of houses got just burned, burnt down whole areas and villages and cities were just burned away and his analogy or his example for that scripture where it says will be proven by fire and some will be going through the fire and all they will have they will be saved but all they will have is like the people going through their houses being burned down and looking for like stuff that is maybe left over all they have is the clothes on their body, all, that's all they have. And this is how some Christians will be when they come to Jesus. They will go through a judgment, there will be a judgment for all of us. And for some that only build with hay, straw and wood, stuff that burns away, they will go through the fire and all they have is their garment, their salvation, that's all, that's it. But he challenged us, this preacher really challenged us to get crowns for Jesus to get people saved and I would add to get people saved, healed, delivered and restored really disciple them, really let them grow in the spirit bring everlasting, that's the thing eternal 
Lee lasting everlasting fruit for Jesus that's just burning on my heart it's just what's moving in me right now I want to encourage you to do that to really press into God and change your perspective into an eternal perspective what do you do does it have eternal value or is it just carnal stuff stuff that will burn in God's fire